first thing is the fact that it's not waterproof and that you know could be a deal breaking feature for some people especially if you live in the UK today we're okay because it's sort of half sunny half cloudy it is autumn over here so you know it could rain at any time and if you're out and about it starts raining this thing has got to go in the pocket <laughs> because there are some things that are exposed on it like the SD card slot is just open on the side and if you get water in that well I wouldn't want to get water in it it might wreck the device so yeah it might be a deal breaking thing for some people the fact that this isn't waterproof or weather resistant in any way um, yes yeah, one of the main drawbacks of this camera to be honest with you the other downside is that this mounting system is magnetic so like the battery base plugs into the USB on the bottom and it sort of clips in together like so and then you just sort of press this button on the back to release it now if you're a DJI lover and you've got other products from DJI you might have the Action 4 camera and the Action 4 camera has a magnetic mount but unfortunately this doesn't fit on it. They've missed a trick there, I think. Maybe they could have made it just a little bit wider at the base so that this would fit on the bottom, or perhaps somebody will bring out a adapter, like a Pocket 3 to Action 4 adapter, where you can actually use these, because I've got a bunch of these mounts from you know third parties. This one from Small Rig is fantastic. And then I've got my GoPros with Action 4 mounts on the bottom, like the adapters as well, so I can clip all my cameras to this quick release magnetic system and that just makes everything a lot more seamless and easy to use. If I could use a Pocket 3 with this mount, man, that, that would have been really good. Another down point could be the fact that this wide angle lens only comes with the creator kit or you have to buy it separately. Um, and I don't really understand that really because why wouldn't DJI just make the lens wide enough in the first place? Why isn't it just built into the camera? Why have you got to have another separate accessory to have a wider angle feels like a, a little bit of a cash grab if i'm honest that you have to buy it separately or you know maybe they're trying to incentivize you to buy the creator kit rather than having to just buy the standalone camera so um, yeah not totally impressed with that i think they should have just built the wider angle lens into the camera to start with maybe the lens is for people who are using this primarily for vlogging if you're not, then maybe you just want that 20 millimeter lens for shooting uh, subjects that are facing away from you. But you know, if you want it, you have to buy the credit kit or separately. So the next thing that is maybe just a little bit of a cash grab, although the battery life is really exceptional on this, I've been really impressed and had no real issues so far over the last week or so of using it, that it is an internal battery in there. So you can't sort of swap the battery out and buy multiple batteries. You have to buy something like this, which is the battery handle. And this is essentially a battery bank for the Pocket 3. Um, so that's just like another accessory you have to buy. So that might be an issue for some. Detecting, 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 face tracking. So the good thing is that you can set it so the face tracking starts when you start recording. So it automatically picks up your face and then starts tracking you like that, which is amazing. But there is one limitation where the gimbal is only limited to 180 degrees. So it won't follow you all the way around. So it's stopped there and then it will pick me back up, re-recognition with that Active Track 6.0. But if you want to walk around the camera all the way around like this, then you can't, it sort of stops there. So that's 180 degrees. Um, and that's a bit of an unfortunate feature. I was hoping it would actually pick you up and be able to walk all the way around. It is 180 degrees, so it's not too bad. But why couldn't they make the gimbal follow you all the way. I'm not entirely sure why they haven't made the gimbal that could rotate 360 degrees so you could keep that tracking going and talk to the camera without having any limitations. So it's another drawback. Like I said, this camera is amazing. But it's just not quite perfect. We are nitpicking though, I've got to admit. We are picking at, picking at straws to make this thing bad. <laughs> Other than that, it's pretty incredible. A few other nitpicks for you, and I am picking at straws. I'm really am nitpicking at this thing because, you know, so far I've been loving the way that it works. The features has got that one inch sensor is incredible. You get actually get like a depth of field, a bit of a bokeh blur 
naturally with this lens, which is crazy for a camera this size. The few things, D-Log is great. I'm shooting a D-Log now, and then I'm gonna put one of my custom LUTs over the top of it, like so. You can like color grade your footage, which is amazing, but D-Log and HLG is not available in slow motion or in low light. Now, low light, not much of a problem because it so it kind of defeats the object of low light. You're not gonna be color grading your low light footage that much. You can just sort of shoot and custom preset your settings and shoot in a low light condition with a normal video mode. So that's not much of a problem, but if you want to shoot slow motion footage, 4K 120, which is amazing with this camera, it looks really, really good, then if you want to add that to your videos, maybe you'd like to add a bit of a color grade so the whole video sort of matches. So that's a bit of a drawback. Another drawback is you haven't got a tripod mount directly on the camera itself. Um, the USB-C port is on the bottom to connect the extra handle or the battery bank. Now, you have to have either the extended battery or the other handle attachment on the bottom to be able to put a tripod on the bottom. And you know, that can be a little bit annoying. I'm not sure why they couldn't build a tripod mount directly in there and then sort of sort some other way to add the, uh, the battery handle onto the bottom. So that's just something that I've noticed after using this for a couple of weeks now. Lastly, the menu system is, you know, just a little bit confusing. It's sort of similar to the Action 4 in the way that it's set up, but when it comes to like the special features, the picture modes, the, the reduce the sharpness, the other pro modes you've got in it, there's sort of some over here on this menu, there's some over there on that menu, there's some if you swipe up, there's some if you go down. I wish everything would be a little bit more streamlined in the menu. While you have got a lot of options to fit into this very small camera, I just think they could have done a better job with the menu. So just using it, like I said, for a couple of weeks now, that's something I've picked up on and I am picking at straws. This is, you know, it's an incredible camera. So just not perfect, not quite yet. One thing I did notice doing my low light test last night as well is that the face tracking does not work in low light video mode. Well, I couldn't get it to work anyway. Whether it's too dark to pick my face up or it just didn't recognize me for some reason, then that, that's something I just noticed about the low light video mode last night. Yeah, while this is uh, a phenomenal camera, that it's not quite perfect. No camera, no device is perfect though. Uh, I'm fully aware of that. You know, you'll love it. If you do want to purchase one, there will be a paid affiliate link in the description down below. This helps this channel grow if you do purchase for that link, but you don't have to. Um, it's not a sponsored video. I bought this camera myself and I will be buying a future stuff from DJI. I think the wireless mic 2 will be coming out soon, so I'll be doing a video on that when it comes out as well. I will be doing that. We're not quite big enough yet, so help me get to that point to get free stuff from DJI. Subscribe down below, like the video. It really does, really, really does help. Okay, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Any more questions? Any information you want to know about the Pocket 3? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd always love to hear from you. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.